This past year, I went to Greece to do aid work with refugees. I taught English and art classes at this abandoned school that was occupied by families from Syria, Afghanistan, Sudan, Iraq, other countries too. They all learned each other's languages so they could speak to each other. They cooked together, looked after the kids together, drank tea together. I kind of found a home in that place, with all of us existing together, sharing a culture of communion. I cherish community like that, but growing up in the South as a Muslim Arab woman, community was hard to come by. My mom is a refugee from Palestine, and my dad is from Tunisia. So when I was growing up in Virginia, they always had that mentality of lay low, do what you have to do, stay on the safe side, because of their experiences back in the Bled. Then it got really hard for Arab and Muslim people like us to lay low in this country. I remember when 9-11 happened. I sat on the stairs with my mom, watching the towers burn on the TV. I didn't understand the gravity of what had happened. My parents were quiet. They didn't really talk about it, but I could feel the worry in their faces. The next day, my mom walked me and my brother to school, as usual, wearing her hijab. All of a sudden, this big white pickup truck slowed down and stopped next to us. A tall white man got out, walked over to us. I could feel my mom backing us away, pushing us behind her. I heard her whispering, Allah yustod. She kept a brave face, but her eyes were so scared. I felt her fear too. The man said, I know this thing happened yesterday. I've noticed you in the neighborhood, and I want you to know you have someone here. If anyone tries to bother you, I'm here to support you. My mom smiled at him. They exchanged numbers, and I didn't feel so scared anymore. I somehow felt at home.